It is a stadium that has a feel very much of its own. I'm talking, of course, of Craven Cottage. I'm Derek Ray, and sitting next to me with his tactics charts at the ready is Stuart Robson. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's Fulham up against Tottenham Hotspur. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? And here's the starting 11 for Fulham. Well, in this shape, if their wide players stay high up the pitch and get enough of the ball, it's a very attacking lineup. And if they drop too deep, they will then leave the centre forward isolated, and it could be difficult for them. Introducing the Spurs starting 11. Hugo Lloris is the goalkeeper. Hyung Min Son plays with Dejan Kulusevski out wide and the responsibility of leading the line today goes to Harry Kane. Thank you, Craven Cottage. Enjoy the game. And the match is underway. Romero. Kane. Just cutting off the supply. A Spurs free kick it's going to be. Well, a foul, but no yellow card at this early stage in the opinion of the referee. Well, he might just be lucky it's so early on. We'll have to be careful now. And deciding to cross here, Son. Well, they had a decent reading of that ball in. Wonderful chance! Able to get his body in the way. Well, the short corner routine. And he takes on the shot. A gift for any goalkeeper. Textbook closing down. And now they're on the attack. Might jump in front. He's blocked it. Tim Ream. Lino with it. And Stuart, there's good reason to believe that Harry Kane's incisive presence could represent the difference today. Well, he's such a natural finisher. He has everything. It has to be. What a big chance that was. Keeper has the ball. Did well to win the ball back. Pereira. Now with Mitrovic. And the counter looks on here. Options available. Well, they seem to be onto something positive, but it faded away. wilting under the pressure and now they try to go forward oh excellent diving stop and now that play has stopped the referee can administer the booking Playing it in, and the danger still on. Oh. 
Well, that leads to the goal that puts them ahead. And a goal! Now they've broken through. 1-0 here. Well, just watch this again. A change of pace, a change of direction, and a decent finish. That's a very good goal. So back underway, and a wake-up call for Tottenham, perhaps. Son. Perisic. Good work from Fulham to win it back. Tim Ream. And Palinha with it. Well, the attack looks promising. And now William coming into it. And the referee has given them a corner. And now the delivery. Not quite the clearance they were hoping for. Tim Ream. Well, they would have been disappointed had he spilled that one. Well, the outcome is a free kick here. And a free kick awarded by the referee. And Spurs have the ball once more. Can well, they exploit the space out wide? but really sticking to their task defensively. Pereira. Might be a chance here. And pushed away to safety. Bentancourt. This could be dangerous. It just needs to remain icy cool. And nicely parried away. And the referee has given the corner. So maybe scope here for them to add to their lead. And over it comes. Clumps clear. Pereira. And the cross didn't beat the first man. Jung Min Son. Kane. And Hoybier with it. Kane. Now with Son. And space to cross it. Kane. And a chance to level it. Oh, really sound goalkeeping. Well, that's such a good save, isn't it? How did he keep that one out? And a Spurs corner as they chase this game. Who can he pick out? Well, it smacks into the gloves of the goalkeeper. He's given it away. Alexander Mitrovic.
Well, there it is, half-time. The first half is in the history books here at Craven Cottage. Well, not a game so far at any rate. Harry Kane is going to remember fondly. Hasn't really been able to make his mark, Stuart. Yeah, he's not played well, has he? He's just failed to have an impact here. Mind you, I think we could say that about the whole team. He just hasn't looked like scoring today. Well, the ball is moving again. Spurs trailing going into the second half. Can they summon the right response? Mitrovic. And Spurs come away with it. Rebier. Well, I don't think that effort remotely qualifies as respectable. And the reason it's off target, because the technique was really poor on that occasion. That's not a good effort. Robinson. And Palinha with it. Pereira he read the situation defensively and did his job good looking ball there could be a chance now well it really wasn't a great effort was it Kane determined defending Palinha, Pereira, just the challenge that was required, well high marks for that pass, Pereira, and he's won the ball, Kane, Read now. Kane. Promising move from Tottenham. Can he do it? And foiled only by the crossbar. Well, that's the end of that for now. Well, Spurs really should be level now. That was so close to being the equaliser. But you do sense a goal is coming here. Well, having been denied by the woodwork, now the focus is on keeping the opposition at bay. And a no-nonsense clearance. Kane. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Firing it towards goal. Well, he couldn't worry the keeper with that effort. Kane. Oh, great attacking play. Harry Kane! Oh, it was there for him. Well, it's not a good finish, is it? That was a glorious opportunity. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. Tete, Harrison Reed, well sitting deep like this might be a dangerous game, moving into the advanced position, and close but offside nonetheless, and a change for Spurs at this juncture. Just 15 minutes remaining. Bentancourt. Kane. And Hoybier with it. Well, that's how to put in a clean tackle.
Mitrovic gives it a go oh a smart save and that keeps them in with a chance well there's still a bit of time left can this inspire them to go and get the equaliser Both managers deciding this is the time to change things around. Both teams going to the bench. Number 38, Yves Bissouma. So the corner played into the box. Well, a bit short with the clearance. Well played in from the flag, but not to any great effect. Davis, now Dyer. Well, these fans have been brilliant. Oh, yeah. Stewart, they might be onto something. In it goes to increase their advantage. And will that be the goal that ends up securing it for them? you have to ask where's the defending the keeper is completely exposed but he still had to finish it and he did it really well it's a good goal so the ball rolling again 2-0 the score Kane, firing it towards goal! Well, that wasn't a million miles away. Well, they're getting closer, but they need to take one of these chances. Time for a change then. Tosin Adarabayo. And the electronic board has been held aloft. Three additional minutes here. And the referee takes exception to the challenge. Free kick. Well, he's walking a fine line. No caution, though. Well, the referee's made it quite clear, hasn't he? Next foul, and he will get a booking. Given away by Tottenham. And support available. Could be. Keeper did his job to begin with. Well, what an opportunity. And there it is, the final whistle. And the fans will be leaving the stadium with smiles on their faces. Well, Derek, they were better than their opponents in all aspects of the game. They defended well enough, they dominated midfield, and they created chances as well. It was a great performance. Well, there's a good reason why we're highlighting him. Really dominant in attack in this game, Stuart. Well, he scored one and could have had a lot more. But if you keep getting into the right areas, the goals will come. I thought he was very good today.